do 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 Am I going to run this? I'm going to do the I'm gonna do the commentary of the playback. So yeah. What's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope everyone's having uh safe times right now. Uh, I know I think it's crazy, but I have something for you guys that you're gonna really enjoy. We finally did it, man. We finally beat the non-early hammer world record. Right now, we've been trying to beat 5036, which is the world record, like the official world record. It has the early hammer, but what we're actually trying to do alongside of that, like every day we do the grind, we do the same thing. Like we go for non-early hammer world record or early hammer. So the non-early hammer world record was 50 minutes and 57 seconds held by Karua, of course, none other. And I've had a 5055, but that had early hammer, and I have a 5036. And that also has uh, early hammer. But today, I am so happy to bring you guys the brand new non-early hammer world record. And uh, I'm pretty sure the time will be in the title, but we managed to nail it with a 5049. So a solid seven and a little bit seconds faster than Karua's. Now, what's interesting about this time is that I was going up against a run that had the 643 clip, which saves about seven seconds. And that clip is exactly like seven seven. So when I used to run up against Karua, I always, I always would lose about seven seconds there. So if I was ahead of Karua by 10 seconds, while I'm only ahead by two by the time I get to world seven, then I got a, I got a haul ass. So in order for me to beat it by seven seconds, you guys should be very excited right now. So let's take a look. Perfect timing, Jay Ferg. <laughs> All right, here we go. So one interesting thing to note, as you can see, I'm doing commentary right after, but one interesting thing to note, okay, I got to turn off notifications. Hold on a sec. This happened today. I got to turn off notifications. Uh, where am I? Okay, there we go. All right. So one interesting thing to notice is that I did do this today, um, but it was the first run of the day and yesterday during my world record attempts i actually did two runs back to back completed i did a 5134 and i did a 5127 so even today as i started my stream i was like okay don't do the amazing run at the start because i want to i want to have a long stream where it takes me an hour to warm up but i'm doing really well and then about 3 hours in i'm really on fire then we can slow the stream down in the last 4 or 5 hours it's like that's kind of what I'm hoping for, but not the last two days. Right on. So I can't remember exactly how my world one went, but it's looking pretty good right now. Um, uh, in terms of mistakes, we're going to have to see. As you guys can see, I have a new controller overlay. It's like a sticker. It's really cool. I'm sure you guys like that. Okay, so I got, I got a movement of one and a movement of two. There's some very special things about this run that I'm excited about. Uh, for everyone who has not seen this to see. And uh, that's the RNG elements that happened to me in this run. I'll try not to spoil it, but as they happen, I will talk about them. All right, so world one is, guys, pretty standard, right? Most boring, most seen world. So there you go. I got good RNG right there. So getting that Hammer Brother this early isn't the best world one RNG, but it's the second best because... Now I'm doing two levels with zero movements. Where when I fight the Hammer Brother past 1-6, he still does movements of one or two. It's possible. So this is the second best RNG. The, the very best. Did I get the tunnel? Boo, man. Not official. You suck, Mitch. You suck. That's okay. So that was, uh, that was uh, I guess, my first mistake. I didn't keep P-Speed out of the tunnel there. And I had to, like, wall rub. And then I didn't get... I didn't get the the tunnel, the other tunnel, but no hammer brother movement. So this is still really good uh, world one RNG. Pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, the good thing with uh, doing playback commentary is I get to fast forward through the auto scrollers because why would anyone watch that? What do we want to watch auto scrollers for? Who do you think we are? All right. So here we go. 224 a press uh that was like a high 224 a press so it should be it should be roughly like a minus three somewhere in the minus three section so let's go ahead and fast forward the auto scroller and let's see what our time is 
Yeah, about 355. Yep. Yep. All right. So we're going into World 2 now. Now, World 2, and now some of you guys... I've already, I've already said, and I do have this in the title, that it's non-early hammers, so there's no spoils. Oh, there's me eating. Yeah, I'm eating some fruit right now. Yeah, eat it up! I'm fapping my controller super hard right there. You gotta fat, man. You gotta get the nerves out. You gotta... Right? You gotta get the nerves out. All right. So level, level one, again, pretty standard. We did pretty well here. I'm kind of looking for myself because I don't remember exactly everything that happened. I, I, I need to see if I made any mistakes or, you know, any, anything crazy that happened. Yo, Sonic, what up, dude? All right, so here's an important level. Do I keep hill speed? That's important. How, how fast do I go? Every time I touch the ground, if I don't single frame jump, the resistance on the ground, right? Mario running this way, the ground creates resistance. So I don't know, I went kind of slow. Yeah, not 292, I didn't get a point there. So yeah, that's, that's why 2-2 that's why is very difficult because you want to not run on the ground when you get the hill speed because you'll slow down. You want to jump as soon as you possibly can. All right, Fortress. I'm getting movements of one right now. All right, so I got, that's my first movement of one in World 2. Nice, got the standard P-Speed. Not early P-Speed, but I'm pretty sure early P-Speed is probably like four frames faster. No, it's, it's maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe like six, six or seven frames. So it's, uh, this level's pretty good to go with the more consistent strategy than the fastest strategy. All right, Mr. Boom Boom. Mr. Bam Bam. That's right. See you later, bud. You're gone. Yeah, I'm spazzing out on my controller as usual. We got so many birds going on right now. All right. Another movement of one. That's good. World two. Two movements of one so far. For anyone who doesn't know, and this is your first time watching, every time the Hammer Brothers move on the overworld map, one movement from tile to tile costs the Hammer Brother 0.5. So if a Hammer Brother is forced to move across two levels because they can't sit on top of levels, each movement is 0.5. So if he does a movement of three, how long is that? All right. Now, Hammer Brother always has to do a movement. So you're always doing 0.5. The idea is to... No see, that was a movement of two, right? Because you can see he's in between two levels, which means that was one second total time. So I lost 0.5 there. So I could be 0.5 faster in this world, right? Because it's very possible for me to get all movements of one in world two. Very possible. But uh, in terms of strategies, this world's going very well. I mean, I haven't really actually made any mistakes so far. Um, just the one five and that's standard world one world one always has little hiccups So there's another movement of two, right? He moved two tiles So I'm down about one second in world two from per perfection from perfect movements The odds are extremely low to get all movements of one in world two But right now I can technically save an additional second in world two if I get all movements of one so we have to we have to hope that the Warp Whistle Hammer Brother doesn't move on the Mushroom House, which he doesn't. That's a movement of one right there. So the fastest movement possible. Really good. Really good time. Get my hammer. Looking great. I got no complaining. All right. The Pyramid is the one of the hardest levels in the game, but not in terms of like, ooh, that jump is so hard, or oh, my fingers, like... This level is hard with like, it's like stamina, right? Everything has to be perfect. You got hills getting in your way. You got duck jumps. You got shell grabs, right? You got turn backs. You got, oh my God, there's just, everything is in this game. Or sorry, everything is in this level in terms of like what makes controlling Mario difficult. You don't have to do like a midair shell jump. You're fine. All right, so we got all movements of one in World 2 except for two. That's pretty good. That's really good RNG. That's... Can't complain. All right, Auto Scroller. See you later, bud. All right. So we have a... We have a special little treat for you on this Auto Scroller. Oh, nope. We already passed it. I don't know. I wonder why it went there. Okay. If you guys... If you guys saw the splits, you would have already saw it. So that this is... This is what makes the record even better. All right. We got the kill. You guys know what's coming up. Oh! Yeah, dude. Off-screen wand grab in this run is absolutely incredible. 
So the off-screen wand grab, not only do I grab the wand earlier, but watch Mario. He doesn't... You see that? He didn't fall to the bottom, right? So what that means is Mario instantly is teleported to the king's chamber. That saves four seconds. Normally, where we grab the wand standing on the ground, Mario's got to fall off the screen, wrap back around, and then trigger it. Where Mario, this time, I was already at the top, so I already hit the trigger instantly. So that saved about four seconds. But you split when you grab the wand. So we haven't seen the time save yet. We don't, like, I only saved a bit of time by grabbing the wand a little bit earlier. I grabbed the wand up here instead of down here. It's a little bit of time, right? But it's the falling animation after I've split that saves time. So it's a time save in World 3. All right, sea creatures level. Pretty good, pretty standard. So normally in a speed run, when you get to World 3, your first big hurdle is the 3-2-P uh, speed. I'm sure all of you are familiar. Hammer Brother moved up. I'm worried. I'm scared. Run away, bro. All right. But I had to keep... Like, when you see the Hammer Brother move up there, you're stressed. But then you got to do this level with P-Speed. So you're like, don't run away. This is a good run. But P-Speed work. So it's like a really annoying mind battle. Because you try not to think about it, but how can you not when you just watch them, right? So I'm hoping right now, after getting P-Speed, I did a good job. That he doesn't move over. Thank God he doesn't. But I got a movement of two. So that's one movement of one and one movement of two so far in this world. Alright. Now this level actually screwed me over a lot yesterday. So I was, for some reason, I wasn't nervous. But I was concentrating on this level. If you guys were here yesterday, you would have seen uh, how why this level... It, this level was just being stupid yesterday. It's like the easiest level. You just hold forward. So I have 44 coins. But I knew my score. I didn't have to worry about it. All right, another movement of two. Right on. No door three? I don't think so. I'm not doing door three. All right. So we go for the kill. I'm not worried about coin ship. So the Hammer Brothers moved in a position where I really want the Hammer Brother on the right to move left. Because then I can get him right away. Like, right? Let's see. And he does. So now I can get rid of both the Hammer Brothers before I do level 4, which means I can do a level without a movement. So it's a little bit of time save. And on top of that, I got a bottom pattern. Bottom pattern means I can kill the Hammer Brothers a lot faster. I got two bottom patterns in this world, which made me very happy to see. Two bottom patterns in this world. No water battles either. Very, very good. That's incredible. And I fought them both before doing this level, which means... I get an additional 0.5 time save. However, I did get a couple movements of two, which is very unfortunate. So right now, the Hammer Brother RNG is already fantastic, right? World 1, he came past 1.5, so I got the good RNG. World 2, I got a bunch of movements of one. World 3, I got movements of one, and I got to fight him both early, and I got low patterns. A press on a 1246 on this level. Never seen that before. I've, that's the best pace I've ever been on in my entire life in Warpless, I think. I mean, World 2, I pro well, maybe not. World 2, I could have done better. But World might not have had an off-screen wand grab, right? I could have done World 2 two seconds faster, but without an off-screen wand grab. All right, so here we go. Did that level. I'm, as you can see in the, in the cam, I'm trying to just pace myself. This is the next hurdle in World 3. This is the hardest level in World 3. Because if you don't make that H jump, very big time loss. I cut it so close on that side jump, but we made it. We made it. So right now, I'm very happy. I'm like, we get to see the time reward for off-screen wand grab, right? Because we haven't seen it yet. We haven't actually got to experience the time save for off-screen wand grab. And uh, that's, that's the hardest part about off-screen wand grab, too. Nobody really knows a lot of the time saves for it because you have to make it through... The next world to officially see the time save so now i'm very happy a 1355 high a press on that on the castle absolutely incredible it's it's absolutely incredible absolutely incredible all right so airship all right let's get through the airship no, let's fast forward. Luckily, luckily, when I edit the YouTube video, guys, I just take out all the fast forwarding. All right, boss battle. 
So we're in the boss battle now. We get to actually see the reward for off-screen wand grab and it's going to blow your asses off. Look at this. Boom. Right there. A gold. I saved 4.6 seconds in world three. That's the fastest I've ever done that world. And, I, and it's all thanks to off-screen wand grab, the wall jump. So I don't go for off-screen wand grab in that battle because the floor is too low. If I jumped as high as possible and wall jumped, I wouldn't get high enough. I need, I need the boss battles where there's like flooring, right? You guys know which ones I'm talking about. You guys know what boss battles I'm talking about. But yeah, big time save. I'm 7.2 seconds ahead of the non-early hammer record, and I'm doing very well against early hammer record. Very, very well. There is, there is a super fast strategy right now for 4-1 that I've actually been doing consistently in runs, but I definitely decided not to do it on this run. No way. No way. Very nice clean. So right now, worlds 1, 2, and 3 have been amazing Hammer Brother RNG. Movements of 1, fast patterns, fighting them early before levels. So I'm very nervous for world 4. World 4 really screws you over. And I get the worst movement possible, and that's seeing the star bro in the bottom left. You're always going to get a movement of 2, so I'm fine with that. I didn't lose any time. But seeing that star bro move there normally means he's going to migrate all the way over to me, and that's going to screw me over. So right now, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous because if my hammer brother moves away and goes closer to the star, bro, they might switch. I'm doing my shoulder dance right now. Hopefully we get some, get some good vibes going. And then he moved away. So I'm, I'm good, right? I know I'm good now. I'm not going to get screwed over by that star. Oh, upper decker. We got the upper decker as well. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we got it. That's sick. I entered the top of the pipe. I don't know how that works, but we did it. It's like clipping in the pixel. It's, it's beautiful. All right, so this level is sexy as always. So now I know the Hammer Brother is going to move past the fortress and go down. And I'm going to be able to fight him at ease. So now, as long as the Hammer Brother isn't beside level 5, I'm guaranteed. All right, use my hammer. Two slots over. Boom. Get rid of him. Now I'm... Now I'm so I'm done the normal movements of two. Now I'm listening for movements of one. Come on, movements of one. Nope, that was a movement of two, unfortunately. So no movements of one in world four, sadly. We almost missed that lake. Oh my God, we almost missed that Lakitu jump. That was incredible, but we nailed it. We got it. This level is the hardest level in world four. This level and uh, the last fortress in this world, I don't want to say it's hard, it's cheap. Because you do the same thing and you get P speed at ease, and then you do the same thing and it takes your P speed away. I don't understand it. It really drives me nuts. So now I got this level. I'm pretty comfortable. Now I need to know where these guys are. Oh my god. Boxless? I was ready to shit my pants because, like, worlds one, two, and three have been the best Hammer Brother RNG, like, ever. And then now I'm gonna get boxless in world four? Like, what? That's like, that has potential of saving like 10 seconds. It's so stupid. All right, so that level went very nicely. Right on. Right on. Uh, and then we got the movement of two. So no boxless and no movements of one. Wait, I think we got a movement. Yeah, this fortress. Okay, I got my P speed. I'm very happy. All right. Oh. <sighs> Thank God. So right now I'm like, okay, this. Th so this run, after getting this fortress, this run just got extremely serious. Really serious. Yeah, I'm taking a deep breath. This run, this is where the run, we've been here so many times, right guys? We've been here on, on really good paces many, many times. But this run, non-early hammer, is just absolutely bonkers. A good world four with a 47.95. So stupid. So now I'm getting nervous. Now, now is about time where my nerves are, are actually starting to kick in about world five. And what, what happens, what's the best thing that happens? That, what's the most likely thing to happen to people when, they're, when their nerves start to kick in on runs? They make mistakes. Yep. All right. World four. I was honestly hoping. I was really, really hoping for another off-screen wand grab right here. But we got a clean kill. Not the cleanest, but still pretty good. No off-screen wand grab, man. I wanted it. That would have been another four seconds. That would have been so stupid. But I still saved. 
I saved an additional one second over Karu in that world as well. All right, and that dropped me down to a 24.25. So this run is, for non-early hammer, this is the most serious run I think I've ever been on for non-early hammer. Like, this is so dumb. That's how unlikely the Hammer Brothers cooperate. All right, looking really strong. Looking really strong right now, guys. So now we're going to implement the new 5-1 route where we're going to use a P-Wing. So the only thing I'm worried about is the fly, right? The duck fly has to be very smooth for good time save. If I mess it up, I lose way too much time. So I'm going for it. Look at how fast that fly is. That was such a good fly. Holy crap. That was the most fantastic fly I've ever been on, man. That, that was really, that wasn't a 291, but that was close. And we got a movement of two. So I'm happy. No movements of four, man. I'm, if I, dude. I could get five movements of four and my good time is not good anymore. And that's what sucks. About, that's what's scary about world five. That's what's scary about world five. We do our damage boost. Yep, looking clean. Boom, right on. All right, so here we go. So I got one more movement before I use the music box. So I'm really hoping it's not a movement of four, please God. Movements of four is like over a second lost every time. Movement of two, yes, movement of two. I could get movements of one there, so I am technically down by one second from that. But I think that's asking a little too much by getting all movements of one in World 5. I don't think I've actually ever seen that before. In order for that to ha happen, the Hammer Brother in the cloud has to just move up and down the entire time. It's like nine times in a row, up and down. And the odds of that is so low. So movements of two, I'm fine with, as long as they're not movements of four. But... The Hammer Brothers are asleep, so I get I get to go to the clouds before they move again, which is good. All right, first, first big mistake right here. This in when the world record is this hard to get, this is the first big mistake right here, right there. That wall rub on the orb, that's the first big mistake. I lost 0.6 maybe. That's legitimately the first big mistake I made. And it's so messed up that you have to call that a big mistake, but you do. You do, right? Had I not made that mistake, then there would be no room for any mistake, you know, up until this point. So that's that's why it's a big mistake. It was a good save, though. I remember we were talking about that save during the run. It was a good save. Yeah, good jumps. Oh, two more coins. I get a coin ship. But my tens digit aren't on pace. So Hammer Brothers right there. I'm so happy. All right. We've been in this situation, guys, I don't know how many times we've watched me in this situation before in World 5, where that Hammer Brother's in the exact same position, and he always goes to the left and does the movement of four. He can go in four different places right now. Left, 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 down, right, or down. Down is a movement of one. It's the only movement of one. And that's what he does. And I get a movement of one. Which means my odds of fighting that Hammer Brother before he does a movement of four is really high right now. Because he can move up, and then I fight him, and then I get another chance, or he can do one movement of left right away. If he does a movement to the, or sorry, if he does a movement to the right, a movement of three, I do lose one second, but I fight him right away, and that's what he does. Beautiful. I get the up pattern, so I don't get the duck jump scare. That's kind of what I was asking for. All right, so now it's up to the bottom bros. One position for a movement of four. The rest are movements of one. I get a movement of one right there. Insane. All right, next big mistake right here. Grab the fire flower, but I fall, but I build my P-Speed back and I keep it. Not that big of a mistake, right? I've made maybe one second of mistakes in this world so far. However, I've gotten good RNG to the point where like you would never notice that second had I gotten a movement of four. It would never have made a difference. So Jesus clip, I don't think so. Another movement of one, dude. Another movement of one. Another movement of one. So like, this is the most insane Hammer Brother RNG so far in my entire life, guys. Right? While we're doing this level, I'm just going to remind you, I get a movement of one after this level. I get another movement of one. So since you know that, World 1 fought the Hammer Brother before 1-5, which means I did two levels without Hammer Brother movements. World 2, I got all movements of 1 except for 2. World 3, I got some movements of 1, movements of 2, but I fought both the bros early, and they both gave me bottom patterns. World 4, 
They didn't screw me over, but I didn't get any movements of one. And world five, I got a shit ton of movements of one, and they didn't screw me over with any movements of four. <laughs> like, what? This is the first time out of my three months grind. Hours and hours and hours and hours. It's the first time in my grind have the Hammer Brothers worked this much. And like, it's, it's still not even the best RNG. This is just the best they've ever worked for me since my grind. It's the best. I couldn't ask for any better. I couldn't ask for any better. Yeah, you guys might as you might you might have to flag this for cheating because I don't know, man. All right, so unfortunately, I got a movement of two, but uh, after the last level, which is going to change my boss pattern, so I'm not going to be able to go for the most optimal kill. But I'll be able to I'll be able to work on some. All right, let's fast forward this. So this is another level that has chances for off-screen one grab. So of course we're going to have to go for the off-screen one grab. I mean, why not? So we go for the double shot and quick jump. Stop him, kill him, and then just made it in time. That wasn't the best, and I didn't get off screen one grab either. So I still lost 1.1 seconds compared to my other. All right, so we are minus 18 seconds ahead of ahead of Karu after World Five, and that's because of the new route. But it evens out a little bit because we got World 6 coming up. So World 6, again, everyone knows World 6 is famous for marathons. Always got to fight that stupid extra bro. World 6 is the worst. You guys have watched me every single time, right? You've been there with me through the entire battle. So you guys know just as much as I do. So World 6 has to work. All right. So we go for the first battle. Bottom pattern. That's good. Instant kill, right? Bottom pattern is when they're both low. The top pattern is when, when one is on the top, and you know I have to jump up there and kill him, and it takes a while. Movement of one right there. Let's go. All right, second mistake. Not big mistake, though. There's no way I can call this a big mistake. It's barely a mistake. It's pretty casual. And that is not falling and losing my P-Speed right there. Right? So, which means I don't get to keep the P-Speed through here. Um, but th that actually... That's not that much of a mistake. That's very common. Everyone... Sometimes it's out of your control, but I do get the frame jump to keep P-Speed in the hallway, which is really good. Ending it off on a 279, which is really, really good. All right. So we got 6-4 right now. And I didn't get the jump, but I readjusted with the controller to kind of get more optimized on the platform. Allowed us to get P-Speed, man. Pretty good. All right, let's go. All right, we can see the bros. Uh, so right now, I need the Hammer Brothers to switch. If they switch after this level, I'm guaranteed. I'm guaranteed um, to get safe passage without having to fight it. Because if they switch, the Hammer Brother with the star will be in front of the rock. But I have one more level to do if they switch. So I've gotten all movements of one. Great. This is crazy. No marathon. And I need them to switch. Which is very scary because them switching is kind of the same thing as the marathon movement where they get stuck and they don't do anything. So I need them to switch. And they actually switched. <laughs> like, what? This is the craziest Hammer Brother RNG I've ever experienced. So they switched. And I'm getting movements of one. And I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> what? World 5, World 4, World 3, 2, 1, World 6. It's over. The Hammer Brother RNG is over. It's the best Hammer Brother RNG I've ever had in my entire life. On a run this good, with how much I need it to work. All right, so we go for the stomp kill. We need to go for the sub-pixel manipulation where I move left one pixel. I move left instantly. I'm so happy right now. Like, that was the easiest move left I've ever experienced. I stood still, I tapped, and I moved. All right, so we go for the, after we did the manipulation, we go for this level without any turn back. However, I didn't get the P-Speed. I didn't jump earlier. So right now, at this point, this is all RNG. It's all RNG right now. Unfortunately, like, I'm very, very annoyed that this, like, I'm, I'm oh, man, everything's working. Hammer, this is the best Hammer Brother luck I've ever gotten in my entire life. Everything's working. 
So I messed up the P-Speed, so I don't know what subpixel I'm on, so I have to base it all entirely on luck, and I fucking nailed it. So I'm so happy right now. I'm like, I'm out of this world. Thank God, man. I, I, I wasn't that mad, but I was like, I was frustrated that something as easy as that is what messed up. And it wasn't a time loss mistake either. I just resorted it to luck. All right, cut a little close to the death waffle right there. Yep. All right. Nice, solid conveyor jump. I, I barely went for it. <laughs> I didn't really go for it. <laughs> I said to myself, I'm like, if I get the clip, like I was like hyping myself up, but like, I barely tried for it. I barely tried for it. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys got to watch out for the nuclear waffles. World six, all movements of one. I got one movement of two, and I needed that movement of two for them to switch to get to get good RNG. All movements of one. I got like five movements of one in world five. I didn't get any movements of one in world four, but I didn't get screwed over in world four. Just movements of two. That was it. World three, some movements of one. Uh, and I fought both of them early, both bottom patterns. And world two, all movements of one except for two. And world one, I fought the Hammer Brother before one five. Like, that's it. The Hammer Brothers are done, and I've never seen better warpless hammer brother rng spread throughout all six worlds right i've seen someone get all movements of one in world one two and then like half and three and that like that the odds of that are so incredibly low and i've seen it but what i haven't seen is incredible hammer brother rng from world one to six in one run all together it just it never stopped it didn't stop and then we got the off-screen wand grab in world two like what Right? We didn't get the extra bro in World 6. We got the wall jump first try. We've, we haven't messed up any P-Speed strategies. We've made little tiny errors. We've made little tiny errors here and there. This non-early hammer this run, yes. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away because I've never seen it before. And I, as you guys know, I've been speedrunning this game for over 10 years and this is I've never seen this before. So now I gotta go. I'm very nervous, man. I gotta I gotta get this subpixel manipulation. And it hasn't been working for me. And I did the insta turn. Yes, man. God, when you do that insta turn, that is subpixel 15 right there, guaranteed. One movement, subpixel 15. So now I just don't have to mess up my jump. My my subpixel manipulations in 7-1 and 7-6 and my execution have not been working at all. In the past few weeks not even close they've been screwing me over and i've been like oh i gotta practice uh like I, I just have not been feeling comfortable so i'm very nervous right now because i did get the sub pixel i know i'm on 15 because mario does a very specific move when he turns around oh my god it's just driving me crazy and the, like the fact that i got it it's just and now now, like, it's one thing after another, right? I got wall jump, and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get the subpixel manipulation. I get the subpixel, I'm like, I gotta get the jump, right? I get the jump, now I'm like, I gotta get fast 7-2, right? I'm, I'm shitting my pants, like, I, there's so much on the line. This is it right here. 24 plus 24 going to World 7. God. Yeah, it's always one thing. It's never enough, right? And, I, like, I have to make it, and I got it. Like, it's just so stupid, this run. Never experienced something so incredibly like that. Like, it's just so dumb. <sighs> All right, so we did it. We made it. We made it. Fast 7-2. So now I'm pretty safe. So now instantly I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, the Fortress, like, the subpixel minute in the Fortress has not been working either. Like, I got to get it going. Like, this is so ridiculous. So dumb, guys. The RNG. Look at my splits on the right side, like, against Karua. I lost four seconds against 6-4-3 clip. What? Who does that? Like, I should be losing, like, 6-7. to seven. That shows how good World 6 was. Which is dumb. So dumb. All right. 7-3 worked. Now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's time. All right, so we do the P-Wing. My menuing has been beautiful this run, I think. I think I overworld map bumped one time, I think. 
I think I did one overworld bump. I, I really feel like I did do one. All right. All right, we go for the setup. All right, watch this. I moved, and then I moved like a little bit more. So I'm so like, I have to pray that the first movement I did is below zero and three because I moved again, and it was a heavy movement. Like, I was not dicking around, and I actually managed to get it. So right now, I've lost it. I've completely lost my mind. This run makes no sense to me. This is, this is the like, this is the daydream run. This is the run people fantasize about. This is what you, this is how, what you fantasize over. Like actually, right? And now seven, eight, the standard screw every run up, right? Seven, eight screws every single run up. Didn't take damage. Didn't take the extra damage. Like what is happening right now? This is the stupidest run I've ever witnessed. The fast pipe entry, I get the, yep, I get the faster setup in the, this is the most nervous I've ever been in this game, right? Like, and I'm executing perfectly. This is so stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've ever experienced. I'm not even impressed. I'm like, this, this makes no sense. This goes to show that there's stupid forces in the universe that control shit. We're in no control, all right? Now, the entire run is based on this level. The world record is... What a surprise, right? The world record is entirely held on this. I got that clip. I shit my pants. I double bounce. I'm kind of annoyed. Missed that clip. Boom, hit that. Like, what? Okay, two for two. Like, that's actually pretty good. Missed that. Kind of annoying. The duck input. I'm very, very sad right now, guys. Get it, though? That's pretty good. <laughs> Miss it. Like, the game just couldn't give me. The game just couldn't give me one. Two, two. Three, three. That's the world record right there. That's that's the beating the actual world record was lost right there. That cost me over 13 seconds. That was like about 15 to 16. That's what cost it. A two, two, three, three. Very unfortunate. But the run is still hot. At that moment, that's when we lost the world record for going up against the early hammer. Um but we still have the non-early hammer record on the line. We still have the non-early hammer record on the line, which is very important. Very, very important. Beep, beep. Dude, the same thing right there. Oh, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but that no turn back thing, that happens to me again in this run. Like I'm trying to turn back so fast and turn, cause you have to, that's how it works. You have to do a quick turn back to get it. God, if those clips would have worked, I would have entered this fortress on 39-something. This run, man. This run is so dumb. All right. Long, long airship. Yep. Long airship. We, we like to skip the airships. All right. We go for the battle. I'm pretty sure the battle was pretty clean. There's not much I can do about it right now. Go for the off-screen one. Grab this. Get it? I don't get it, man. I wanted two of them in the run. That would have been crazy. And right now I'm just expressing in the video how much 7-9 just took from me. I can't get a run like this again. Not with these Hammer Brothers, dude. It took like four years to get the Hammer Brothers to work like that. It won't happen. And if it happens again, you got to get the clips and you got to not mess up your movements. I don't know what Kaylee's screaming about. All right, so we're in auto scroller land right now. We're gonna we're gonna quickly bypass. Yeah, we got auto scroller land. I'm gonna hit the the important parts for you. Uh, one of the most important parts is okay. We beat it, but we got bad boomerang, bro. Just so you guys can see, he moved forward, which means I lost a little bit of time from bad boomerang, bro movement. So I lost a little bit of time there because I didn't get the best, but RNG nonetheless. Do my little flip flappies. All right, this is where chat went absolutely crazy. I've never seen you guys spawn so many channel points in my entire life, even though channel points haven't even been around that long. But everyone is using their channel points to conjure up no hands. The no hands channel point, there was over like 300 of them. It was the fastest moving chat. It was like YouTube with like 20,000 views of a live video where chat is like, why do you even type in chat? You can't even see it. 
But this instance was people for the non... For the no hands. All right. It's coming up. I think you guys know. Right? Obviously. But still, it's so, like... At this point in time in the run, it, it was just... We've never seen it before. We've never witnessed it. It's just like, this pace with this run is just... It's just so dumb. Like, I can't even fathom the amount the amount of how hard this... Like, and then look at this. Oh, <laughs> what? Like, what? I know, I did, didn't I do a mega pog? And I got instantly nervous. Dude, I want to watch that no hands again. I want to clip. Dude, I just want to watch this over and over again. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to watch. I don't know why. Yeah, right. This run is so stupid. The first run of the day. The first run of the day, man. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now because I can beat, right now I can beat the no early hammer world record, right? So everyone who wants to know, there there is not two world records. There is not an official non-early hammer, and there's not an official early hammer world record. Those aren't two different official records. There's only one world record, and that's the fastest warpless time, which happens to have an early hammer in it. However, we've been running this for so long, and with all the things around early hammer that's been going around, we've all adapted and developed the the difference between early hammer and non-early hammer and the skill and patience and RNG needed for both different runs. So now we all, we view them differently. And I think that's the right thing to do. I think there's a big difference between non-early hammer and early hammer, huge difference. And I do look at there, I do look at it as there's a fastest time for non-early hammer and then a fastest time for early hammer. So right now I'm fighting for the fastest non-early hammer time. I don't have it, Karua has it with a 50-57. My fastest non-early hammer time is a 5102. That's my fastest non-early hammer time. My fastest early hammer time is a 5036, and the time before that was a 5055. So there's definitely a difference, and there's definitely that unspoken, there is two kind of world records a little bit. All right, this is where I get screwed over again with the no turn back. I tried to turn back so lightly, I got screwed over, but I smoked him. Yeah, I got him. I did a couple turnbacks here, kill them. Not that big of a mistake. I'll take it. I'll take it. I have to take it, right? That's because I tried to turn back so fast to kill the sun. Like, there's so much pressure on this level for me. Everyone's got that one level that they overthink for no reason. That level always gets me. But not in the any percent no wrong work. That level didn't get me. That's right. The run on the right is Karua's. The, war, the run on the left is the early hammer. In order for me to world record with early hammer, I have to be about only one minute. So I'm behind by 11 seconds right now. I think it's, it's 13 seconds, right? Early hammer splits is one minute and 13 seconds. And seven, nine definitely cost me 13 seconds. And then a little bit of the uh, boomerang bro RNG and then uh, eight, two. Did I lose world record? No, I lost world record because 7-9 RNG clips. Yes, Karua went for clip 1 and 2 and 7-9, and then he finished the level normally. Which is only, that's only about a 6 second time save, where if you do all 4 clips, it's a little closer to 12. Yep, really good, really good run. We're going to watch this last auto scroller because it's like super hype. Super hype. Sorry, I'm just answering questions on chat right now. We're, we're still live. Doing the uh, commentary. Got my hammers. Look at my time. Entering Bowser's Castle in under 50 minutes is so rare. You have to be incredibly good to enter Bowser's Castle in under 50 minutes. 
I thought about going for the clip, but I realized it would make no difference. It wouldn't mean anything. Going for the clip wouldn't have done anything. It wouldn't have given me a milestone. It wouldn't have... It wouldn't have done anything. It would have made me go faster if I got it, but that... Again, it wouldn't have meant... Not, it wouldn't have meant any different. I'm very nervous. Quick little turn back. Quick little turn back. Just safety, guys. Always about the safety. Boom. Did it. Yes. That's it. So now I have the fastest non-early hammer and the fastest early hammer. Um, I am not very interested in going for that 50-49. I did it. I did it. That's what I say when I do it. I did it. I did it. I go crazy. Absolutely incredible run. That That was the most... I I know on paper, I know on paper you can beat that run. I know you can. You can beat it on paper. We saw my mistakes. We saw how 7-9 screwed me. Theoretically, on paper, you can beat that. But the odds of getting the good RNG for even the opportunity to beat it, it's just, it's, I don't know. So I'm not, I'm actually not very interested in going for non-early hammer runs, like, I wanted to beat the world record with non-early hammer, but that, that was my opportunity and I didn't get it. So in my mind, it's like, do I have, do I want to go for another four months? Maybe get an opportunity, right? Because it's always like you have an amazing world one, two, and three, and then world four screws you, world five screws you. Next thing you know, you're on pace for a 52, right? That's not even close to a 50, 36. So, so um, for anyone wondering, I'm going to be moving uh, to 100% right now. I'm going to go for the sub 110, the 69-minute run. That's what I'm going for. So um, thanks for watching, YouTube. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my commentary run. And uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.